Hello everybody and welcome back to another peanut video. <laughs> I always say peanut uh, rather loud actually, but hey, Project Peanuts here and I have two new boosters for you. Uh, for the weekly booster of course and I have Dark Ascension. Well, why? Because uh, I couldn't get Innistrad and the new set Shadows over Innistrad is coming real soon. So I thought this is uh, perfect to uh, do another weekly booster and they weren't actually that ex expensive. So uh, yeah, I'm rather happy with it. And also we're gonna add some cards to the cube, the leftover cube. So let's find some cool uncommons and commons. Uh, yeah, what else is there to say about this set? Uh, you had double face cards, a lot of ghouls, zombies, uh, angels? No wait, demons and everything. The angels came in Everson restored the set after this, but let's just get into the boosters and I'll explain on the way. Alright, there were a lot of cool uh, uh, rares and mythics in this set, so I wonder what we can get in, uh, this, uh, in these boosters. Uh, the best known card, I think, that is, is still being played in modern is that Huntmaster. It's one of the mythic uh, double-faced cards, and if we can get that one, well, that would be insane, of course. Also, we had a Sorin, Sorin uh, of Innistrad, Lord, Lord of Innistrad or something. Yeah, really cool. Alright, we start off with a Griptide. A pretty playable card, especially in Limited, so maybe this is something for the, for the cube as well. 4 mana and puts a creature at instant speed on the top of someone's library. Really nice. Uh, a cat, <laughs> one one I want two cat, yeah, <laughs> for cat lovers out there, that's something for you. Creatures you control get plus zero plus four, it's one of their nice combat trick. Bar the door, as you can see they're being attacked by probably zombies, yeah, awesome. <laughs> ah, tragic slip, nice card, one of the best spot removal cards, like ever, I guess. <laughs> Minus 13, minus 13 if a creature died this turn instead of minus 1, minus 1. Yeah, it's, you can kill indestructibles with this, so uh, good card. I have a lot of them actually. Artful Dodge. Uh, gives a creature uh, unblockable. And oh yeah, Flashback came back in this set. I, I think it was in Innistrad already actually. Uh, this set before this, but uh, I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> it's been a while. Midnight Guard untaps himself. Not too special are some things to do with it. Oh yeah, Undying of course. One of the mechanics uh, of uh, the whole block actually. Uh, it came back from the dead with a plus one plus one counter. Really strong ability and uh, especially the uncommons and rares with uh, Undying were really annoying. Ooh, uh, a flying first strike Griffin card. Nice. 3-2. Mm -hmm. Not bad, but for 5? Eh, could be better. Still playable I guess. Shriek Geist. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, two mana one flying, and whenever it damages a player, you uh, oh uh, sorry, combat damage, they also have to put two cards in their graveyard. Nice card, I like this one. Another flying geist. Uh, no wait, nebulous <laughs> spirit. I mean, not all too special. Really nice card though. You can uh, probably play this in your deck. I don't have so much to say about that anyway. <laughs> Uh, Briar Pack Alpha, this is a really good card. Uh, it's a combat trick and creature in one. It, it has flash, so that's uh, really good already. And when it enters the battlefield, you uh, get to uh, target a creature <laughs> and it gets plus two plus two. So that's really nice. You can, it can even target itself if you want, so you have a 5-5. Five, five. Or you can boost someone else. Good card, I like it. On to the rare... Oh wait, not yet, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Shatter Perception, another flashback card. This one discards all the cards in your hand and then you draw that many cards again. So if you have a shit hand or something, use this card to get rid of it and maybe later do it again. Nice. Also nice with flashback of course because the things you discard, uh, nice. Oh. <laughs> we have Zombie Apocalypse, well this card embodies uh, the whole Dark Ascension uh, stuff. Because zombies were, uh, well, here <laughs> and coming for you. Return all zombie cards from your giver to the bed of a tap, then destroy all humans. Yeah, flavor flavor win, right? I don't know if it's that playable, but uh, <laughs> it's a cool card in zombie decks. Here we have the checklist and, of course, a double face card. I totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah, this is how it works. Uh, you start off with this card in front, so 4 mana 3-2, and if you uh, if no spells were cast in a turn, in the last turn before it, you can transform it into, well, in this case it's this one, and then it becomes a 5-4 werewolf, and when it transforms you can destroy an artifact, or actually it, it does a smash to smithereens. <laughs> so destroy an artifact and 3 damage. And it can also flip back, as you can see here. So that's how it worked, and it, uh, that's how it still works in Shadows of Innistrad. 
So uh, yeah, interesting. Nice, uh, nice car though. This is not even that bad. Cool, I like it. Right, let's go through this one rather quick. Oh, uh, open the gates. I wonder if we get any foils or something. It's gonna be interesting. Dawn Treader Elk, a nice search land card, highly playable in the limited again. <laughs> Almost every common is that, in my opinion. <laughs> Thought Scour, um, yeah, you can mill yourself or your enemy, interesting. Maybe you can target yourself with this and fill your graveyard and also draw a card, not bad. Ah, bar the door again. Wreck with madness. <laughs> target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Huh. But on sorcery speed, I don't know. Ooh, this one is nice, Fires of Undead. Und undeath. Undeath? Yeah, undeath. <laughs> um, Two damage to a creature or player at instant speed with a flashback cost, with, uh, but it requires black, as you can see. Nice. This card is uh, also really nice to play. Two times the same card, so that's nice. This one discards cards. And if you trigger Morbid, you can choose two cards. Hm. I'm not a big fan of all the discard Morbid cards, actually. Or, uh, I mean, <laughs> discard cards. I do like Morbid. Stormbound Geist, another spirit. Here you see it again. Undying, really nice on a flying creature, but. Uh, the downside of this card is that it can only block creatures with flying. For aggro decks, yeah, you want, you want this. Nice. Oh yeah, Faithful Hour is another ability. At first this card just gives you plus one plus one. And if you have Faithful Hour, uh, so that means if you have five or less life, this creature also, those creatures also get indestructible. Or gain indestructible. The wording is a little bit different uh, these days. Break of Day, nice. Cool card. Ooh, Highborn Ghoul. 2 mana, 2 one, Intimidate, yeah. It's okay. Be mindful though. Too black. So you need to be heavy in black. Warden of the Wall. A nice, uh, interesting card, I believe. Um, it, it gives you some mana boosting, but it also turns into a gargoyle creature token. Uh, creature artifact creature. <laughs> Not a token. Jeez, I'm mixing too many things up now. This one is actually pretty cool to add in the cube, because nobody wants to play this in their normal decks. Another Nibilus. Well, we have this one. Burning Oil. This one is all already in my queue. Uh, it just d deals three damage and has a flag bash. Uh, oh my god, I cannot speak. This one deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature, which is nice at instant speed, of course. And it also has a flashback, so two times this card is uh, rather strong. And the flavor, Burning Oil. Nice. That poor werewolf. Alright, I think we. I have the rare right here, and it is a big one. Gerald's Mind Crusher. Gerald was one of the, how do you say that again? Uh, the stitchers in in Inishra, so they like s s stitch up all these uh, well bodies and create zombies. <laughs> um, and this one uh, mills and has undying. So yeah, if it comes back from the dead, you get to do this again. Interesting card. I like it. Really big. <laughs> And here we have the double face card in an artifact form. No foil though. No. This is Chalice of Life. Interesting card. Uh, three mana, you gain one life. That's not even, uh, oh well, that good. But it says if you have 10 or more life than your starting life total, meaning 30 in normal uh, magic, and if you have commander, you need to be at 50, you transform it into this. And this one is actually really strong. Tap, target player loses five. So, boom. Well, so much for this uh, unpacking or unwrapping of these boosters and these two will definitely go into the leftover cube because I really like them actually. This one will probably never see play anyway and this one probably not as well. <laughs> so that's really nice and uh, uh, don't forget about the cool two rares. Maybe I'll put that General's Mind Crusher in it. Not sure though because that undying is rather, rather good. But if you have any other ideas about the cube or, or cool cards that you want to add, let me know and I'll maybe listen to you. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching uh, this video again. I hope you enjoyed uh, the unpackings of uh, these two boosters and look forward to the new Innistrad set uh, soon in April. I'll probably make some uh, more vlogs about that anyway. And um, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment if you want. Uh, the new question about the giveaway will be online soon, as I said in the last video as well. Uh, but it will be a busy week again. So uh, yeah, keep in mind anyway. Check, keep, keep checking the channel and uh, you'll figure it out. Until the next video guys, thank you and later!